Hey everyone and welcome back to SaaS Space. So tell me, do you want to give your potential customers a very personalized experience on your Shopify store? Well, then I have the perfect Shopify app for you. So if you want to discover how you can do that, watch the video till the end. Now you probably wonder how we're going to create a personalized experience for our Shopify users. And here's the answer. We're going to use Recoma, a product quiz builder where you do not have to have any coding skills or any prior knowledge before using this app because it's very user-friendly and intuitive. But first, before delving deep into this app, I would like to show you a couple of examples so you can see what you can create and maybe also get inspired from them. So this is their demo store and let's head to there. And this is the first uh, quiz that pops up. Uh, and here we can configure the themes as well. Uh, you can see what kind of uh, quiz that you can create. This is the lifestyle, this is a modern, and this is the classic theme. Okay, let's head to and take this first quiz. It's the lifestyle quiz and it's regarding sunglasses, so it's going to offer the best match for me as a customer. Okay, so I'm going to choose this cat eye. Um, UV protection is very important. Uh, this is a drop down question example. And do you prioritize eco friendly materials? Not really. And here are some uh, optional questions that I can skip as a user, but it would be good to also fill in. So, this is uh, ideal sunglasses in a couple of words. Um, then you can leave your phone number, your email address to get the updates, and finally your name. Perfect, and it gives me three examples that I can choose from. And here you can see also we have the buttons add to cards. So this, this is the call to action that they need and they can also retake the quiz. So this is something that you can get. Uh, now let's go to the Shopify dashboard and see how we can create actually something like this ourselves. So now I'm on my Shopify dashboard and here I've already installed the Recoma product quiz builder. And also for the sake of uh, saving time, I have created a sample quiz that we can um, experiment with. Um, so if you're just getting started, then click on this add new quiz button and create your first quiz. If you have already existing ones, simply click on them to go and edit them. Okay, so the very first thing that will appear on your Shopify users um, screens would be the welcome message, right? So we need to make it catchy and beautiful as well. Um, so here we have a couple of options we can do. First, we can have a welcome message. And this is, let's say, welcome to our store. And here, uh, take this quiz or whatever, something like this. Uh, let's leave it to this. Um, then we can also add an image. So this is the first image that will pop up. Um, and here we can choose the image layout. We can either choose it to be on top and then under it your welcome message or only your um, image there or the image on the either the right or uh, left sidebar in um, based on that also respectively your text. So it's awesome. I would like to choose probably this one. Okay, um, now let's head to the questions, the, the gist of our um, app. And here we can create a couple of questions. So first, let's add a new, uh, and you simply need to create, click on this add question um, button. And here, let's first explore the question types that we have and also the settings. The question types, we have the single choice, so your customers can only choose one uh, answer the picture choice they can choose between pictures multiple choice they can make a couple of answers drop down yes or no text phone info screen email and name so these are good if you want also want to build a contact base also to send them some updates regarding your store regarding your new products etc etc so this is a very good option to include some of these and not just only the product specifications Okay, so let's uh, say we want to add the email type of question. Uh, and here we can either make this required or optional, but I would highly recommend to leave this to optional because some of the customers may not be willing to leave their email addresses. But let's also go to the single question so that we can explore the settings that we have here. 
So as already mentioned, you can either choose to make the question required or optional. You can randomize the choices. So if you have a couple of options, then you can randomize them. You can also add the other choice, then they will either need to specify or just uh, leave it like that. Uh, align choices vertically. You can choose to either uh, align them uh, vertically or horizontally. Logic jump. So for example, if you have um, a couple of questions and let's say the first question um, is answered no, let's say it's not interested in eco-friendly products, then your sec you will miss your second question, which is regarding eco-friendliness. So this is the logic jump so that you do not have like this mixed questions in your quiz. And this is a very good feature actually. Um, okay, so let's uh, change this to the email and is the question title. And finally, the results page. Let's head to there as well. So if they have made all their choices, uh, now they need to get a some kind of um, product recommendation or whatever. Uh, so again, you have the option to add some heading and subheading. This is congratulations. You have taken your quiz and now we have some offer for you. Um, here you can customize the maximum recommendation products count. So for example, if you want to only retarget one product, then you can have one here. But for example, if your customers uh, um, choices are like that so that you can offer them three products and you can leave it to three and they will have actually a um, wider options to choose from. Okay, then you can also show the add to cart button. I highly recommend to add this if, if it's a product on your store that you are selling. Uh, then you can also uh, add short descriptions and you can, this is a very good feature again, redirect uh, your customers. So for example, you can redirect them to your store or if it's a product that has a unique landing page then you can maybe redirect them to their landing page, etc, etc, so they can explore it further. Great, so now we are mostly done with the structure of the quiz, but then we also have some other um, things that we need to modify. Okay, so these are the questions. And here um, we will need to choose the products that match this question if they choose, for example, white in this case, and those that do not ma match. So we need to select the products and exclude the products that do not match. And we're doing it for all the question types. And after we are done, let's head to the styles and settings. Um, so in the settings, uh, you can enable a couple of options. You can enable the uh, quiz um, retake options. So if they want to go ahead and start it again, then you can definitely do that. You can enable the progress bar and you can also um, enable the auto next. If you have uh, any other quizzes um, that you're currently offering, then they can also take that. You can customize the quiz title here. And let's also head to style. And here you can see these are the themes that we also explored on the demo store. So let's see, main, classic, and modern. I really like this modern style, so I'm gonna stick to this. And also you can customize these to match with the film book of your website. Um, uh, and customizing the colors, you can also add a background image. So this is a really good one. And you can also uh, add your custom CSS if you have any skills. That would be really awesome. Integrations. Okay, so um, Recoma has an integration with Clavio. So if you have the uh, email question, uh, email type of question, when you ask your customers to fill in their uh, email address, and if they fill in, and if you have connected your email address and you have enabled this Clavio integration, then it will go to that specific email base that you have specified. It's really awesome if you want to build uh, that contact base to further then implement your campaigns or uh, update your customers. Okay, so we're done and all we're left with is the publishing. And we have um, some options here. And what I really liked about this is that each of these options have a short tutorials on them and also short articles that you can go ahead and read and watch. Okay, so I'm gonna choose this button link. And here you can see this copy the 
uh, this is the quiz ID basically. But here pay attention to that if you go to your online store and then customize, you need to go to App Embeds and turn on the link uh, quiz option. Um, so this is very necessary so that everything works properly. Okay, so after copying this, let's head to online store, customize. And the very first thing that we'll need to do is heading to App Embeds and making sure the link quiz is enabled so that again, everything works properly here. Okay, after this, let's go back to sections. And let's say we want to add the link to the quiz to this shop all button. Of course, we're going to change the label. Let's change it to take the quiz and we're going to pass the link that we've just copied to here. And awesome. Let's now click on this. And here we go. Our quiz is ready. Let's also test it. And we can also type our email here. Well, that's it about Recoma. And if you've still got any questions concerning it, don't forget to drop them in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell to not miss out any of our upcoming videos. And I'll see you next time and have a nice day. Bye-bye.